Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a get ready with me. So, let's get right into it. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is moisturize. I'm going to be using the same Renewed Hope in a Jar. Okay, so I did my brows off camera because it takes a long time, so... Um, yeah, I went ahead and did my brows. I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes with Max Laying Low Paint Pot. Okay, so today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Gold um, palette. And I also want to use this VH Cosmetics Foil Eyes palette I got a long time ago. <laughs> I think they still have it on their website. So I wanted to use something that you can still get. I'm pretty sure you can still get it. But um, yeah, I haven't, you know, so I'm gonna be experimenting. First, I'm gonna take um, Too Faced Chocolate Gold, and I'm gonna use this color right here. It's called Rolling in Dough, just to set my whole lid. I'm gonna do like a halo eye. So the first thing I'm gonna take is the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes, and I'm gonna take a navy blue color, this one right here, color right here, and go from the outer corner and to the inner corner, and do a halo kind of thing. And I'm grabbing like a kind of a pointy brush. This is just a Morphe 505 brush got kind of a pointy to it so so I do my eyes first because there's like already fallout so that's why I always do my eyes first so I can just wipe that off like that and I'm leaving just a little spot in the middle so the MAC paint pot really makes your eyeshadows pop so that really helps. So that's probably why it's so <laughs> like that. So I'm just gonna wipe up because I think I went a little bit too much. Okay, now I'm gonna Okay, it looks a little so I'm gonna be using this one right here. It's called um Drippin' in Diamonds. And I'm just going to use my finger and pat that right in that middle um blank spot that we left there. corner I'm going to add a little bit of black. They have this uh, decadent. It's called decadent. It's like a black black in this palette. The Too Faced one. So I'm going to use that right there in the outer V. And this is a very very nice black. I really like this that they put this in this palette because I, I love it. Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. And I'm going to just use my NYC liquid liner. On perfect 615s. I'm going to be wearing those. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. So I'm going to prime. And I'm trying to finish this up. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. 12 hour. I'm debating where I'm gonna, whether I'm going to buy another one of these. I really like it. It's okay. 
oil free, silicone free, and it's alcohol free. So I really like it. So I'm probably going to buy another one. So I'm just going to spray my face. I really like the spray, the way it comes out, so it's affordable. I think it's like six bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the shade T40, which is Sun Beige. I've watched YouTubers use this and they don't really tell you the shade. The shade is in the back of the, the bottle there, see? Sun Beige. So, <laughs> I'm just like, what's the color? I know the number, but what's the, what's the actual color? I have to look it up. Anyway, so I'm just going to put it on my brush like that. I think it applies better with a brush than a sponge. So, so I'm just going to buff this in. This is kind of a good color match for me. I've always used Sun Beige. And I, the first time I wore this was um, for the military ball, and it really looked flawless. So it really looked good for the whole night, and it didn't transfer like like it says. So pretty good. I'm liking it so far. And um, I purchased it on Amazon. If you're wondering I couldn't find it in store they only had like a limited supply and they didn't have that shade so I had to order it online okay for concealer I'm gonna be using my Tarte shape tape <laughs> my holy grail love it so much and I'm gonna mix in some of this um, age rewind neutralizer because I like the brightness of it so I'm just going to apply this down here, like that. And tackle them under eye circles. I'm sorry if I look that way, it's just my, um, my mirror is over there. <laughs> Today, my husband's going to his favorite store, which is a gun store. I think he's got something on the way he wants to get out for Father's Day, so we're going to do that, and we're going to go um, food shopping and necessities at Dollar Tree. We're just going to get like, you know, cotton balls today I'm gonna make him dinner I'm gonna be making him um, pepper steak and um, with onions you know and I'm gonna make some rice and uh, maybe a side I'm gonna make some kind of he likes uh, pico de gallo so I'm gonna be making some of that um, I think I'm gonna make a cake or a fudge brownie or something like that because Yeah, I'm gonna be in that kitchen doing my thing. So I'm gonna set my um, face with the NYX No Filter Powder. It's just one of my favorites. I really like the way this looks. I'm just gonna use an e.l.f. brush. An e.l.f. pointed powder brush. I really like this brush. I'm going to set my under eyes with the LA Girl Pro Powder and Banana. I was getting my hair. So I'm just going to let that bake for a few seconds. And I'm going to contour and bronze. I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer Palette. And I'm going to be using this bronzer in here. It's in the shade Deep. I 
I just, oh my gosh, I like this bronzer. It's so good. I'm gonna be using the Koki Contour Palette. And I'm gonna use this middle shade right here to contour. I'm just gonna wipe off that. Setting powder. So I'm gonna be using the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Maui Nights. And a BH Cosmetics brush. This is the number, the number 136. And I like to put this on the back of my cheeks, like right here. And then I'm going to do my bottom lash line. And I'm going to be taking the same, using this same color right here. Now I'm going to apply some mascara on my bottom lashes. And I love the Wet n Wild Mega Length in the purple tube. It's the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in black. It's the best. It doesn't budge anywhere and it's just awesome. So I'm going to line that. This is Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Royal Calyx. I haven't used that one, so I'm going to try it. I'm just going to be using a Target brush. Let's see how this applies. I haven't used this, so... Yeah, I think it's got an overspray, so you got to dig your brush in it. So, let's see how this applies. Mm. Ooh, it's pretty. A little brush and blend that a little. So I'm gonna line my lips with NYX Bloom lip liner. Okay, and then I'm gonna fill it in with ColourPop's Rabbits, and this one is a satin lip. The rubbing, the lettering came off. So, I'm gonna fill that in. The Milani Make It Last setting spray, my favorite. Let's shake it up. some in my inner corners so I'm gonna go in and take the same dripping in diamonds and I'm gonna apply that to the inner corner in my brow bone oh, you gotta be careful with that that was a little bit too intense with it so you just gotta blend that out because that color is vibrant. <laughs> so here is the finished look. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.